So how, why did I get into to structural engineering? It's kind of weird, but when I was still a student like you guys, you know, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I, I, in the back of my head, I wanted to be a structural engineer, but I, honestly, I wasn't really good at it. I pretty much got C, I got a C in statics, like the most important class that you need to know for structural. And I failed two math classes and barely passed strength of materials. And so all those classes, I was just like, I want to do structural engineering, but hey, <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not doing too great so far. But I still wanted to do it. And oh man, there was even this uh, one time, it was really demoralizing. I went into my, my professor's office hours and he has an open door policy, so his door's really actually open. And there, during this one day, there was just a line of students when I was in there, so everyone can hear the conversation that we're having. And uh, I just went up to him and just trying to solve a problem, a statics problem, I believe. And you know, it was one of those where he tries to guide you to the answer, so he'll ask you a question, and then I'll just sit there because I didn't know what I was doing, and it'd just be awkward silence for a minute. So that went on for like 15 minutes, and you know, God bless him, he was really patient, but <laughs> I can see that his, his frustration just kept building and building, and then he got to a point where he just started screaming at me, and actually got to a point where he like got his uh, pencil holder and just chucked it on the ground, and it broke, and then I was like mortified at that point because I knew everybody could, <laughs> could hear what's going on, so I did my walk of shame out of there, and that was pretty much the point where I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I don't know if I really should do structural engineering. Uh, but I did, eventually I kept going, and I actually took a project, it was a design project, with architectural engineering students. We were actually going to design a building. And still, I was still freaking out about how complex structural engineering was. But it wasn't until one of my professors kind of just saw that and he just simplified stuff for me. Because I was just, for me, I was just overcomplicating everything. So even for a, a skyscraper, a high rise, it's very complicated. You got so many pieces, but it's essentially just a cantilever beam with a force, and you just gotta drag everything back to the foundation with a moment. So that's pretty much a starting point, Then it's like, oh, that's something I can do. I get that. And he simplified a lot of stuff and making the complicated structures simple. So even with a complicated bridge like this, how is it supported? It's got curves, how do you analyze that? It's basically a simply supported beam. And you can even see how everything interacts. You, you see the moment diagram, it looks pretty similar to the bridge. It's not by coincidence, it's by engineering. And also with uh, even the, the tallest building in the world right now, the Burj Khalifa, how that thing's gotta be super complicated. How do they, what's the structural system for that? And it is complicated, but you can actually just simplify it to basically a person with an umbrella and there's wind and the, that person's not falling down because he's got a brace or support, and that's pretty much what the structural system is for the Burj Khalifa. It's basically a, a vertical member with braces. So knowing that, so I got into structural engineering because I could see how simple it is, but I stayed in structural engineering because of how complex it could be. Because for me, I've always wanted to just keep learning. I hated being bored at work at, uh, you know, at a desk job and just waiting for the clock to run down. So, but when I got into structural engineering, seeing how, first I can get it simplified, but just seeing how complex it is that during my work schedule, there's always something for me to learn. And I've been with DCI for five years and there's, I, there's still a lot of things that I do not know. And another reason that I went into it is because, I mean, it has an impact. Uh, you're learning statics and it has a purpose. You're learning statics so you can design a building that's going to be standing for 25 years, 50 years, 100 years. And knowing that it's, you're actually affecting the built environment and something that you designed uh, and that you were responsible for, that was another reason. And just, just seeing how, how important our work is, even in restoring old buildings, preserving the past, doing structural engineering on those so they can withstand earthquakes, and doing structural engineering on new buildings, building the future. And just seeing how important it is to see that when, our, when you don't have structural engineers and when our technology isn't implemented, even in like third world countries, you can see what happens. 
I mean, entire cities are destroyed, uh, people's lives are lost, and their, their infrastructure is completely damaged or gone because you don't have any buildings because the structural engineering technology wasn't there. So seeing how important it is and just seeing the, the impact of our work, that's why I'm still here. And you know, that's why I really want to promote the structural engineering industry.